हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब क्लास गाइस आई एम मंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब यू अबाउट वन ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एजर स्टोरेज पार्ट गाइस विल डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ वी कैन मैनेज द एज फाइल शेयर सर्विस विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट इन थेटिकल पार्ट विल ऑल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट द स्टेप दैट वी नीड टू यूज टू क्रिएट अवर फाइल शेयर सर्विस विद द हेल्प ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एज पोर्टल सो एज वी डिस्कस इन अवर लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ ब्लॉग सर्विसेज तो आई होप यू ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द concept of as your uh, storage account and blob services but now we try to understand about the file share service so firstly we just need to know about the uh, work of file share so i hope you all of you know about uh, the work of uh, uh, map network drive so i'm talking about on premises activity so firstly just try to understand about the concept of map network drive so as per the name we can use the map network drive to share our folder with multiple machine right for example you establish multiple on premises machine these all are the computer system these all are the client and server operating system which is established in on premises and you want to share one folder from one machine and you want to access the same folder to entire client pc so once you map your folder with another machine you are able to access it any time and uh, you just need to connect with network like that if you want to use uh, if you want to share a folder from microsoft azure portal you need to create a one as your file share you can share your uh, file with multiple virtual machine like that for example you you need to create a one as your file share service over a portal for example you created a one as your file share service over a portal uh, and you want to access the same space from your uh, uh, virtual machines or on premises machine as well because the microsoft azure file share service can help you can give you option to access your storage from virtual machine that you created over a azure portal as well as you can also access it from our on premises machine on premises machine in the sense you can say the local machine so this is our agenda so what i'm going to do i'm going to show you the proper step to configure azure file share service so firstly we just need to open our azure portal just need to open portal.azure.com and we have already created a storage account if you remember so in our last video we discussed about how we can create a storage account so you can find the video from uh, playlist and now i'm going to show you the directly use of file share service so now i'm going to click on storage part and check how many types of how many storage are uh, storage accounts are available in our portal click on storage account Okay, so we have already created two different types of storage: web uh, test 1988 and training 1988-2. Everything is okay. Now I'm going to create a one virtual machine because we are planning to configure our file share service from a storage account to virtual machine. So that's why I'm going to create a one Windows virtual machine. Select compute. Go to the virtual machine part, and we need to click and create a one virtual machine by choosing the option of add. and we need to full uh, fill the some basic information related to vm i'm going to proceed with the, our resource group is power type the username and uh, select the location where you want to create choose operating system i'm going to proceed with the server 2012 operating system this is my username and password everything is okay please proceed with 3389 because we want to access our virtual machine from outside the network so you must be uh, add port number 3389 for rdp access okay no need to do anything just use a basic network means a default vnet service next and now we just need to click review and create if everything is okay you just need to click create but it's need to validate the entire setting click create fine so we proceeded to create our virtual machine it will take up to 3 to 4 minute and meanwhile what i'm going to do i'm going to add our uh, storage account with azure storage explorer tool so i have already installed on my base machine azure storage explorer tool so uh, you need to open your explorer tool from your on premises machine and try to connect your storage account that you created over a portal over azure portal fine click on home page again go to the storage account just select the storage part and click storage account 
In the storage count, I'm planning to connect our BAP test 1988, right? So we just need to provide two basic information to connect your storage count to our on-premises uh, Azure Storage Explorer tool. So we just need to copy the name of our storage account. And one more important thing is access key. We have a various way to access our storage account with our on-premises uh, um, uh, Azure Storage Explorer. So now I'm going to use a, just a basic method to connect our uh, storage account to our on-premises tool. So it will take time to log in it. So I think we need to wait for one or two minutes more. We successfully connected our Azure Storage uh, Explorer tool and uh, I'm going to connect our storage account. So although I have already connected some storage account, I need to deattach it. Just right click and deattach. Fine, refresh it. And if you want to add a new storage account, what you need to do, just click on add button. This is the add button, connection button. And it gives you various way to connect. I'm going to proceed with use storage account and name. Storage account to name and key. Click next. This is the display name. You can proceed with any. So I'm going to proceed with storage uh, training account. Okay, this is the display name. Second is related to the account name that you created. So I'm going to copy the account name. This is web test 1988 paste here. Second, you need to provide the information related to the key account key. So just click on access. Whenever you click, it gives you option to uh, just show the keys, select it and copy any key like key one or key two. So I'm going to proceed with key one and paste here. Everything is okay. Next and connect. Cool. We successfully connected with our web test that we created over Azure portal. We are able to see blob, file share, queues and table. Uh, but uh, we check our file shares, so there are no file share service available. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a one file share service with the help of Azure portal. Open the property of your storage account that you created. Select file share. And Right now, we don't have any file share, so just click on the file share op uh, option, which is available and type the name of your file. So I'm going to proceed with name of uh, share. You should be used because it uh, required a case sensitive. So I'm going to proceed with name of share. Type the quota. This is the quota. You can say that limit how much you want to share with your virtual machine. So I'm going to proceed with 5 gig of uh, space. Just click here. Cool. We successfully created our one file share with the help of Microsoft Azure portal and meanwhile what we need to do, we, ne we need to check our virtual machine is ready to use or not. So open the virtual machine icon by clicking the compute option. Select the compute part and go to the virtual machine option. Fine, our virtual machine is ready to use. Just select your VM, copy the public IP address and try to connect with the help of RDP tool. Copy our public IP address, okay. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect with uh, Microsoft remote tool. Select your username and password. and connect done fine we successfully connected our virtual machine that we created over azure portal so now i'm going to uh, map our file share that we created with the help of storage account uh, we just need to map our uh, file share service to our virtual machine if you check the how many drives are available, how many space are available in our virtual machine, so just need to click on this PC. Okay, so right now we have only two different hard disks available. One is C drive uh, with the capacity of 127 uh, gig and another is temporary storage for gig, 4 gig. 
So I'm going to map our storage, map our file share that we created. So it's really simple. What you need to do, just the open your explorer tool. It's really, uh, uh, you can say that easy way to connect your file share to on uh, your virtual machine. Select your storage account. This is our storage account that we created and select your file share and share that we created with the help of Azure portal. So select your uh, file share name. And now we have our option of connect VM, right? Just click on connect VM. Copy the entire code, just uh, control C. Open your virtual machine, go to the uh, command prompt, type CMD and paste here. Fine, we successfully copy the command, copy the script. And what we need to do, we just need to change the drive letter name only. So we are able to see net space, use space, uh, 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 bracket, drive letter. So I'm going to proceed with drive letter of, uh, you, you can choose any drive letter. I'm going to proceed with T and mark a colon and press enter. The command successfully completed, completed successfully. And now I'm going to check our my computer or this PC, we are able to get information related. One drive is connected with five gig of space. This is the share drive that, that is the share folder that we created over a Microsoft Azure storage account. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create some folder here. Click folder, type the name of your folder and open it and add something like uh, I'm going to select uh, any document. This is test file, okay, and save it. Now, you created a folder with the help of a virtual machine. Now open your Azure portal and go to the storage account. Just refresh it. Open your file share service that you created. And we are able to find the folder that we created with the help of virtual machine. Open it and see new text document open it and if you want to download if you want to see so just download and check your data this is test file that we created so guys this is the agenda of file share service i hope you all of you understand about the step to configure azure file share service so thank you so much for watching and we'll connect tomorrow with another video Thank you guys. Take care and bye-bye.